Hey, what's up guys, Social Notes Best here. The delayed Apple HomePod is almost here. Pre-orders have started today, and this device will be officially launching on February the 9th. So you'll be able to pre-order it and have it delivered on the 9th, or you can go into an Apple store and be able to pick it up on that same day. And I just wanna give you some details about this speaker to help you make a buying decision, whether or not you should get the speaker or wait for something else. And this is going to be just some of the top features and things to know about the Apple HomePod. Now, the first thing is that it does come in space gray or white, and both of these color versions look great. And it's gonna be like seven inches tall Tall and it's not gonna be that wide, so it's gonna be something where you can put it anywhere in your place and it should be able to kind of blend into the environment depending on which color you get. Um, and also too, it's not gonna be taking up that much space. And also it's gonna have a little bit of juice behind it because it's gonna be having the Apple A8 processor inside of it, which originally launched with the iPhone 6. So it should have enough juice to be able to power this speaker and it should have really good sound quality from people, some people at least, who have been able to hear um, this HomePod in person. They said it sounds amazing. I've seen a couple people say it sounds better than the Google Home Max, and other people said it does sound better than competitors like Sonos, so it should be some really good audio quality. I'm assuming Apple is going to deliver on that, but we'll see when I'm able to actually get that in hand. And that's reinforced due to it having seven tweeters inside of it. It should have really good bass, and also it's going to be aware of this surrounding. So if you do put it in a room, maybe in a corner or next to a wall, it's going to be able to intelligently be able to fine tune this audio to deliver it the best way possible, just like if you had it in the middle of the room with no obstructions, it should be able to no matter where you place it, deliver really good audio. And it also has six microphones built inside of it, and that's gonna be able to allow it to listen to you as you're using Siri to be able to interact with the speaker. And Siri, of course, will allow you to be able to control the music, but also to get general information like weather and sports, and if you wanna ask it questions, it should be able to give you most of the answers for that. And so while Siri will be useful, I don't think it's gonna be a huge selling point to pull people away from using like the Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant, uh, but I think for iPhone users or just Apple users in general, they'll be very familiar with using the assistant, but it will allow you to be able to control all your different smart home devices like your smart light bulbs just by using the HomePod. Now, if you do happen to lose your voice like I did a few weeks ago, the HomePod does have touch controls at the top of it, so you can use that to access Siri, or you can also use it to control the playback of the audio. But at this point, let me talk about a few things that I don't like about this speaker. The first thing is just the announcement that it's gonna be missing two major features. And the first feature is going to be AirPlay 2. Now, AirPlay 2 will allow you to be able to put one speaker, say, in my office and another speaker in the living room, and now I'll be able to control the speakers to be able to play music together on both of them or to play different types of music on each individual speaker. And that's not coming till later this year. And then also the fact that they won't have support for a stereo setup with two Apple HomePods at launch. So you're not gonna be able to put two of these in the same room and create a stereo setup, which Apple says is gonna have one of the best stereo setups due to their technology. Uh, you can't do that either until later this year. And so both of these features sucks because later this year could be in the fall, it could be summertime. And I, if they were kind of confident to be able to launch this thing relatively soon, I think they may have said spring or said summertime. So uh, this is not a good look, definitely not having these two features at launch. And now the other thing is that this only works with Apple Music. And Apple was upfront saying that this is gonna be for the Apple ecosystem. Uh, but I really like the way my Sonos application allows me to connect to different services, including Apple Music, but also Google Play. So the fact that these HomePods can't do that, you can only work with Apple Music, even though you have a ton of songs with that, um, kind of sucks and I wish Apple would open it up some more. And then the last thing is going to be the price, but not specifically the price of this HomePod because I don't think it's too overpriced uh, for the category that it's going against. Uh, but I wish that Apple would was able to release a, a smaller device, maybe something like the Amazon Echo Dot that doesn't cost a lot of money compared to the, this HomePod, but it can give you some of those voice assistant technology and also be able to play back audio and stuff like that. So that will probably come later this year, Apple announced something like that. So at $350, it's gonna be a little bit of an investment that people are gonna have to decide whether or not they wanna get it or not. So you can either do it right now, again, it's available for pre-order, or you can wait to see me and other tech YouTubers get the device and be able to test it out and recommend it whether or not you should actually get it. So so stay tuned for more information about this Apple HomePod as we get closer to the release date. Leave your comment down below what you think about this speaker. Let me know whether or not you're thinking about getting it. Make sure you follow me on my social media networks. Those links are down below as well. And make sure you do subscribe to me here on YouTube. And like always, thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.